Welcome to the Onefinity CNC Infinite Dust Collection Kit Assembly video. When we open up our box, we will find our socket dust boot router shields, our mounting hardware, our magnetic mounting blocks, the socket dust boot, three dust boot brushes, another set of magnetic mounting blocks, and the pawn CNC dust boot. Here we're separating out the parts according to which of the two boots they will go with. And now we've got our two dust boots separated with the socket on the left and the pawn CNC boot on the right. First we're going to put together our socket dust boot and we'll be using the one inch router shield. And we're going to be using a one inch brush with both of the boots. Our first step is to insert our 1 inch brush into the channel on the bottom side of the dust boot. This takes a little bit of pressure since it is very tight so you might need to use a allen key or screwdriver to kind of wedge it in there. Next we're going to use the black magnetic mounting brackets and the four screws that came with them to attach it to each side of the dust boot. We'll place our magnetic mounting bracket and using the provided screws we will secure it into the threaded inserts on the side of the boot. Now we're going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. These should be left slightly loose so you can adjust the position of your dust boot relative to the router. Our next step is to insert the brush into the magnetic brush clip that goes on the front of the socket dust boot. Installing this brush may take a little extra force and you may need to use a flathead screwdriver to push it into place. Next, we're going to install our router shield. We're going to flip over our dust boot and we're going to peel the protective layer off of the acrylic pieces. And once we have both sides of the protective film removed, we can attach the shield to the dust boot using the three provided bolts and provided Allen key. Once our router shield is installed, we can take our magnetic brush clip and slide it into place using the magnets on top of the boot. Our socket dust boot is now ready to go, so we're going to start on the pawn CNC boot. Starting out by unpackaging everything, we have our magnetic mounts, the brush clip, the pawn CNC router shield, three included screws for attaching the router shield, a one inch brush, and our Allen keys. We're starting by inserting our brush into our pawn CNC boot. This goes in rather easy. You can see we're just pushing it into the groove and we're going to use a pair of wire cutters to cut off the excess. Next we'll install the brush on the front brush clip. This just slides into the groove from the side and you might have to do a little bit of trimming just to get it flush with the other brush. After our brushes are installed, we're going to remove the protective film from both sides of the router shield and install that using the three included screws and Allen key. After installing our router shield, we're now going to install our magnetic mounts on the side of our boot the same way we did on our socket dust boot using the provided screws and securing them into the threaded inserts. Finally we will attach the black vacuum hose adapter to the back of the pawn CNC boot just by pushing it in. This concludes the Onefinity CNC Infinite Dust Collection Kit Assembly video.